Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, welcome back to my channel. What is my, what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Recipe Tuesday, or welcome to my channel if you're new. It's Recipe Tuesday, and hopefully you subscribe because I always post vegan recipes like this every Tuesdays. That's why it's called a Recipe Tuesday. Dash and Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video, okay? Bam. All right, so let's start with these green velvet cupcakes. Super simple recipe, just keep on watching me, all right? So you wanna add your chocolate milk, your dairy-free chocolate milk into a bowl and measure that up to one and a third cup, you know? And then you're gonna add some lemon juice, one tablespoon of that. That's gonna work as your buttermilk, right? And then when you're done with that, you're gonna set the milk aside and then you're gonna add your flour to a bowl. So I use two cups of flour, you should too, if you want the same recipe <laughs> results. Add a one cup of cane sugar into the bowl as well, and some baking soda, I got baking soda, I got baking soda, some cocoa powder, and then mix that all together. And once you mix all that together properly, make sure it's mixed properly, then you're gonna add your buttermilk mixture into the bowl, like so. And then I'm gonna add some more ingredients like vanilla extract. I'm also, I was also testing out the food dye because it was my first time making this recipe. I was just going with the flow. Add some apple cider vinegar as well. And your coconut oil or any type of oil of your choice. I love coconut oil and that's what I have. And then whisk everything together like this. And then add one fourth teaspoon of green food dye and a half a teaspoon of blue food dye line your cups with the liners and then pour a mix into the liners like so preheat your oven to 250 degrees and when it's ready let it cook for 30 minutes all right so while that's doing its stuff then you're gonna cut your oreos about eight to nine oreos okay and make sure um the um, cupcakes cool before icing them i would say wait maybe a good like 20 to 30 minutes and then you can go and decorate like this and top them with your oreos like so for a nice edgy style or and i'm using actually um betty crocker's icing for the white icing and then i use this random black one that i found by cake mate you you could use it because it's vegan um mainly most of them are vegan and this is what it will look like once it is done it looks so amazing so yummy and it tastes delicious like that mint oreo just adds an extra like flavor to it it is so yummy so next recipe is this vegan pesto yummy <laughs> oh my god guys <laughs> so you want to start by boiling your water and when it's you know boiled add your salt to it and then add your favorite pasta you could use any type of pasta you want then you could add your cup, uh, your cashews <laughs> to a food processor with a handful of spinach and garlic and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Add some nutritional yeast as well, pot of gold, and one eighth of a cup of olive oil and some salt to taste. All right, I use one fourth. A teaspoon of pink salt but you could use as much salt as you want but not too much all right don't exaggerate and some black pepper for some spiciness hey okay and then you're gonna blend everything together well yeah whatever the food processes does <laughs> make sure it's all mixed together you know and it should look like this okay and then you're just gonna add it to your pots with your um, drained noodles and then whisk it together like this and then place it to a plate like so and you're ready to go this is so delicious and so simple it makes for one person but double the recipe for more next recipe is a vegan shamrock recipe this drink is actually so amazing so minty amazing guys all right so i used um three how do you say three scoops? I was gonna say bull because of French of my favorite ice cream, which has peanut butter, but you don't have to use peanut butter. And half a cup of mint inch not that wasn't a half a cup, girl. Like what are you saying? Anyways, guys, you know, as per usual, everything is up on the screen and it's gonna be in the description box because sometimes I be just talking crap on the screen. I just wanna talk because I feel like you guys will get bored if I don't talk. And I'm so awkward, so it just becomes so funny. But yeah, add your 
ingredients to it it is such an easy recipe i think like even your two-year-old sister can make this or butter all right and i was just testing out the colors because i didn't know how it was gonna turn out but it came out super nice like as you can see on screen i blend everything together i designed my mason jar with a few of um you know chocolate syrup with that drip okay and then i added everything to the you know the mix to the mason jar and i added my cocoa whip whipped cream which is vegan and then i topped it with the rest of the oreo crumbles i had from the first recipe okay and it should look like this i swear this is such an amazing recipe you gotta make this thank you so much for like watching this i'm so awkward oh my gosh <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, okay? And yes, hopefully you have a nice St. Patrick's Day when it comes along and that you get to make this recipe and share it with your family and your friends and your loved ones, okay? And don't forget to subscribe and like. I think I already said subscribe, oh my god. Share this video, let everyone know about Picky Vegan and yes, follow me on my social medias and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on Storytime Sunday, right? Bye!